what's up y'all welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i make a two-piece swimsuit out of this big huge t-shirt that i got from root 21 for only five dollars so i have two swimsuits that i chose from that i wanted and i'm going to show you here and i'm pretty much just going to mix them because i want to be able to wear the top as a top so first thing i wanted to be doing is going ahead and cutting out the back of the t-shirt because i'm going to be using that for the bottom and also the straps later so you're just going to go ahead and cut that out and set that aside Okay, now I'm going to be pretty much measuring where I want the top to stop at, at the top and also at the bottom. Not only that, I'm also going to be measuring pretty much across my breast to see how wide I want it to be, of course. And I ended up actually making the top a little bit too small because I forgot my breast grew. But yeah, after that, I'm going to be pretty much measuring that and just pinning where I measured onto the t-shirt. So I went ahead and pinned where I measured at the top and where I stopped at the bottom. Also, you wanna do the same thing across after you're done. So after that, I just went and drew a line, like the little triangle shape that I wanted for my top to be. You can really use like fabric chalk, but I had a dark marker at the time because I couldn't find my fabric chalk. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out the shape that I traced out. So after that, I went ahead and cut across also because I've already had it pinned across where I measured. And after that, I just went and folded it in half and pretty much cut the shape that I wanted. Next, I'm going to be taking these uh, old swimsuit bottoms that I have for like a good minute now. And I'm going to fold in the straps because I actually don't want them. And I'm pretty much just going to be cutting around the swimsuit. Like just pretty much getting the basic shape that I needed. And make sure you cut like an inch off because you are going to be folding this at the end. And you're going to want to like just have that extra inch so you can shape it how you want it to be shaped. You know, just in case you like cut something weird. Next, I went ahead and pinned it in the shape that I wanted. That's why I said to have some extra fabric left over. And I'm just going to go ahead and take it to my sewing machine and pretty much sew it up where I pinned it. After it's done, I have this little cute swimsuit bottom shape that I wanted. And if I try it on and I don't like it, I can always go back in and reshape it. Next, I'm going to be making these straps. So you're pretty much just going to like fold up, roll it up. Technically, you roll up a piece of fabric because it makes it way easier to make the straps. So you're going to roll it up. And then after that, you're just going to kind of cut off the size that you want the straps to be. You don't want to make them too small because if you sew them together um, and you don't have enough space to put the safety pin through it, you're not going to be able to make your straps. And then once you're done, they should look like this. It's a bunch of like random like size straps that you have. You can use the smaller ones for the top and the bigger ones for the bottom. Next, I'm just going to be folding them in half as you can see here. You can pin it if you want it to be easier, but since I don't really need to pin them, I'm not going to. Next, 
after that you're going to want to take a safety pin and pin it to the end like right in the corner and then after that you're pretty much going to just push the bobby, bobby pin in and pretty much just keep pushing and pulling it until you get to the end so you can turn the entire thing inside out And once you're done, you should have pretty much just a plain black strap that you can use for your swimsuit. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take the top and pretty much flip it over. And you're pretty much just going to fold where you want your swimsuit to pretty much sit. And you're pretty much just going to flip it and then pin it and also sew the ends together but make sure you leave enough room that you can put your swimsuit strap in because you're pretty much going to be lacing it through there the top i didn't really need to because of the way the t-shirt is it already has like its own hole so if you have a t-shirt that's like that you can just leave it after that just go ahead and take your swimsuit straps and just thread it right through the bottom and uh, you can make them as long as you want but i want this like this crunchy look i didn't end up getting it at the end because again i mismeasured my breasts but other than that if that's the look you're going for you can most likely have it so i just threaded one through the bottom and also the top because that's where the swimsuit is going to sit on my top it's going to be tight around my neck So now that the top is done, I'm just going to go ahead and go to swimsuit bottoms. So I pretty much just took a strap that I made and it pretty much situated to where I wanted it to be and how I wanted it to look. I wanted to give it like this pinch look. So I went ahead and just took it and put a pin and pretty much hand sewed all of my straps in doing the same thing to the back after I was done with the front. And you can always redo them if you don't really like how the straps are sitting. In there my swimsuit is all done I actually really loved how it turned out not only can I wear this as a swimsuit but I can also just wear the top as like a basic cute little top but yeah um, if you guys like this video go ahead and like it I hope it was very easy to follow if you have any other suggestions don't forget to comment below in the comments let me know any other things that you guys would like to see don't forget to follow me at my social, me social medias and all that good stuff but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and it was easy to follow and I'll see you in the next one Bye.